Welcome and thank you for being here. Are you ready for today's challenge? Today we are doing a very short poem, A Red Red Rose by Robert Burns. Let's jump in. So these are the directions. Keep a paper and pen so that you can mark your options and use this at the beginning or for revision of your uh, of studying. And don't get discouraged if you didn't score well. Also don't get excited if you did well. These are not the parameters of your knowledge. And there will be three seconds of silence to for you to think and answer. So I repeat it. Let's say this is not a benchmark for your knowledge. Use it just for a warm up. So there are two rounds. First one an easy round and second two is a difficult round. Are you ready? The first one. What is the name of the collection of poems by Robert Burns that was published in 1786? Was it a red red rose? Was it songs of innocence and experience? Or was it poems chiefly in Scottish dialect? or odd long sin. It was poems chiefly in Scottish dialect. Option C. Second question. Which of the following is not a common theme in Robert Burns poetry? Was it nature? Was it love? Was it politics? Or was it Scottish culture and identity? Yeah, you got it correct. Politics. He never spoke of politics. Third question. What is the significance of Burns Night in Scotland? Option A. It marks the anniversary of Robert Burns' birth. Option B. It celebrates Scotland's victory over England in a historic battle. Option C. It is a day of remembrance for fallen Scottish soldiers. And Option D. It marks the end of the winter season and the beginning of spring. It Option A, it marks the anniversary of Robert Burns and Burns Night is celebrated across, across the world. It is on January 25th. Now we move on to the difficult round. This is from the text. First question, what is the rhyme scheme of a red red rose? Is it ABAB? Is it AABB? Is it ABBA or ABCB? It's option four, ABCB. Fifth one. In the poem, the speaker promises to his love, his beloved, till a sea's gangs dry. What literary device is being used in this line? Was it alliteration? Was it metaphor? Was it personification? Or was it hyperbole? It's confusing. It's option four, hyperbole. That is exaggeration. Actually, the poet says, I will love you even if entire seas goes dry so that is known as hyperbole too much exaggeration and it is not hyperbole it is hyperbole going on to the next one option six question what is the effect of repetition of the phrase and i will love thee still my dear throughout the poem was it speaker's unwavering commitment to his beloved or was it a sense of monotony and repetition or is the speaker is trying to convince himself to love is beloved or does it emphasize the impermanence of love? Confusing, it's option A. It speaks of speaker's unwavering commitment to his beloved. That's the central theme of the poem. Coming on to the last one, the poem A Red Red Rose is an example of which literary honor? Was it a sonnet? Was it an elegy? Was it a ballad or a lyric? Yeah, you guessed it right. It's option three. It's Ballard. So what was your score? Do you have the guts to comment below? Let me see. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another day's challenge. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.